Our outfit's called Air America. Strictly civilian, American pilot, flying cargo and refugees in the wild, wild east. There are no American combat troops in, in Laos. Plan on not crashing any more airplanes on the runway today? Uh, not today. Nope, that's good. Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr. star in TriStar Pictures' Air America. They're two adrenaline cowboys hired as civilian pilots for the CIA's not-so-secret airline. In 1969, Air America was one of the largest airlines in the world. See, I put us here, but the map doesn't show town here. Well, then I guess we're not actually here. And we don't really run 400 flights a day out of here. Warship 100 tons of cargo, medicines, weapons. Gene is like um, one of those mercenary kind of people. He goes from conflict to conflict because there's a dollar in it and he knows how to fly. And he's hooked on it, I guess, by this time. So the one are you going home? Hmm? I, look at me. Look at Neely. The rest of us, we're all a bunch of trouble junkies. We've been mainlining danger and adrenaline for so long that nothing else gets us off. It's kind of sick. Quick before you pick up the habit, and you will you pick up the habit. Really like it. Last year, I said um, to my agent, kind of jokingly, after I'd seen uh, Lethal Weapon or something, I said, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, get me a movie with Mel Gibson. Bye. And, uh, and so he did. <laughs> Where are you coming from? I'm from L.A., from the west coast of the United States, man. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the dark side of the moon. And I'm going back there, too. Is there something wrong? It's just that I'm used to being the weirdest guy in the room. United States Senator in my backyard on a damn fact-finding mission, no less. He's not gonna find out any facts, I promise. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, foot bag and big car. Yeah, uh, Senator. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, sorry, uh, no have local dinero. Uh, <laughs> give tip later, okay? Senator, this is General Lu Sung, the supreme commander of our local allied forces. Oh, please. Then you go to France. You have General de Gaulle carry luggage? It's clearly an opportunity to entertain with uh, enormous amounts of adventure and comedy while dealing with material that I, you know, feel is significant. But I didn't even realize until I got into it that it was going to be certainly the most ambitious thing I'd ever undertaken as either a producer or head of a studio. The logistics of having enough people here, of getting an Air Force to give us, I guess, 25 of their planes and whatever it is, 200 people to run them, such that it was clear from the word go that it would have to be made with many units simultaneously. One scene proved particularly hair-raising. That's a scene where, um, where Billy's hungover and Gene decides to give him a lift to work. And he, he wakes up and he's flying like that. Uh, stand by picture. We investigated doing it all sorts of ways and finally decided that the best thing to do was to literally show up with a helicopter, drop a rope and pick him up. And Robert was wonderful. Keep your hands off the wheel. We knows what happens when you fly. Now. Come on, come on, come on. Why are they shooting at us? Because they're unfriendly. Why is everyone so unfriendly? Well, they haven't gotten to know us yet. I don't want to crash twice in one day. Don't worry. I crash better than anyone I know. Why don't you go first? No, I don't want to go first. Okay, okay, I'll go first. No, I don't want to go no, second. All right, go toss the coin. Tails. Tails, isn't it? That's tails. You have to see the funniest side of it, 
And that makes the awful side of it more poignant sometimes, uh, showing up the funny side of it. See, I had this theory once. I believed in the politics of Saturday night. Yeah. I rated all governments and countries by how good or bad their Saturday nights were, and I, I knew that Moscow and Peking had to be a stone drag at that time of the week. So I was flying for a cause. Anything, anywhere, anytime. That's our motto. Well, it would be if we actually existed. That's right, but we don't.